Hello everybody, my name is Tim Kong and I'm a freelance illustrator and for today's topic I want to talk about Art is Hard. Woo, yay! <laughs> ah, it's that one topic that we don't really like talking about because you know it's like admitting to somebody hey I suck at this maybe, maybe I should give up <laughs> or at least that's what we think internally um, well for good or bad I'm here to say that um, it is hard and it kind of doesn't get easier um, you will get faster you will make more polished work as your skills improve but the actual sort of I guess you could say mental challenge or stress of creating a new better piece will be a constant factor regardless of how good your technical skills get this just comes with the trade I'm afraid <laughs> um, you know if anybody tells you, hey, uh, Tim, art is super easy. I have no idea why you struggle so much with this. Then they either don't make artwork or they just like to make the exact same artwork um, every single time. And I think for most of us, we don't want to settle for doing exactly the same thing. We want to keep pushing ourselves to the next limit as far as we can to try and create artwork that we enjoy that everybody else enjoys um, I think the hardest part about creating artwork is definitely the creative aspect um, the, ch the fundamentals are still pretty difficult you know you still gotta learn them you still have to put the hours but those have uh, sort of universal rules, right? Like perspective works a certain way, so does color and light in real life. We, we, you know, people from many, many years ago have figured this out for us, and we just basically have to put in the hours to understand these. Now, of course, mastering these is obviously going to take a lot of time, but the actual process of learning it, uh, you know, it's just, it's mostly just discipline, right? However, with artwork itself, the actual creating uh, the image, the, you know, the, the, with the theming of what you think is cool or great or beautiful, etc. There is no guidebook for that. <laughs> there is no guidebook saying, here you go, here's a Tim Kong guidebook on how to make artwork that Tim Kong is best excelling at. <laughs> I wish it's a guidebook like that but no it, it, it doesn't exist and um, the only way you can sort of find this out is is through trial and error and a bit of risk taking right you know by risk take I mean like just just making that artwork that that you have a personal um, attachment to or uh, that feels personable to you now there are certain things we can do to make artwork easier for ourselves like it's always going to be hard but there are three preventable things that we can do um, to make it less difficult for ourselves so the first one I want to talk about is surrounding yourself with people who support what you do and or make artwork themselves it could be both um, because there's nothing worse than creating artwork making this craft you know trying to make a living for yourself if, if that's what you want to do of course and then having someone tap behind your shoulder you know, sort of crouch behind you and go hey i think you should stop doing this there are people way better than you why are you wasting your time <laughs> um it, it's 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 like adding this extra anxiety to a process that is already quite anxious to begin with right and when you do have other artists around you it it changes the flow of everything like all of a sudden you are with people who not only face the same problems as you do 
um, but you know you sort of can discuss your passion projects with each other and you you understand it. you both un- or not both or the, the rest of you understand it and this sort of synergy this sort of creative energy really motivates you really gives you the sort of desire to make um, more artwork better artwork because now you don't feel as alone right like you, you know other people who are similar to you and I'm going to use myself as an example here but um, until about uh, I'll say two years ago maybe three I would just sit home after work make artwork post it online see how bad it does get depressed and then make the next one and I'll just keep repeating this over and over and over again there's no feedback you know between me and some other you know people who I can really discuss some of the dilemmas I'm facing there's no there's no energy being transmitted at all it was just me in my own head making artwork and needless to say it did give me a huge art block that's uh, that's probably something I'll go into more detail in another video. That's like a whole huge topic altogether. But um, after that um, brief void, I guess you could say, of unproductivity, I decided to really make a actual effort to communicate with other artists, going to events where other artists are. You know, just learn to socialize with them. You know, it it it, it was a bit awkward at the start social skills at the beginning were uh, a little bit how can I say rusty or just not very good but as I did it more it became um, easier because it's a skill that you acquire and I was able to get to know more artists and the moment I did it completely opened my horizon like all of a sudden I, I didn't feel like I was constantly battling with this idea that I can't do artwork and that I'm by myself I suddenly have other people who I can uh, talk to about. Uh, I, you know, I can see what they're working on. I'm like, yeah, I, I want to work on my project. So, yeah, guys, get out there and um, try to try to meet other creative people, other people who you know support what you're doing. So the second point I want to make is the idea that art is hard, um, and try and change the mindset. So. You acknowledge art is hard, but you don't see it as a personal failure if um, it doesn't do as well as you expect or hoping to do. So take these two mindsets. So the first one is uh, I post a piece of artwork, uh, didn't, didn't get as much likes or whatever. I'm just like, oh, man, I suck. I think, I think I've gotten worse. I, uh, all right, I'll just make the next one. Against... Um, this mindset so you, you post the artwork doesn't do as well you're like ah okay so this piece didn't do as well as my last one I wonder why is it because I, I changed the format of how I present my artwork is it because maybe the lighting on it is not as good or maybe the character is not quite as relatable or you know what I mean like you're just sort of trying to problem solve it um you sort of trying to understand what it is that made this piece not work as well as your last one and it's a much healthier mindset because now you're sort of uh seeking each uh failure as a problem to solve rather than a personal failure on your part because that's the key thing here we're trying to yes we put ourselves into our artwork but we don't try to put it as we don't want to say attach our self-worth to uh, every time a piece of artwork fails because that that can definitely set you up for inc- an incredibly frustrating experience uh, believe me i like to do exactly that and it was it was not fun um so just to add to <laughs> again my own personal experience i mean this is all i can really add here really um i i used to I used to sort of take too much pride in my own artwork and every time uh, someone, um, you know, critiques it, I'll be like, ah, uh, oh, they don't know any better. They they have no clue what they're do- talking about. Um, I'm the guy who knows all this stuff. 
or you know if um if it doesn't do very well i'll be like yeah you know people who out there don't have any taste my my taste is the best <laughs> Oh man, it's so much cringe thinking about it, but it was actually the mindset I had. I mean, mine's a pretty extreme mindset, and I think most people don't really have that kind of um, ridiculous thought process. I, I I had a whole bunch of other dilemmas that I had to work out other than artwork back then. <laughs> so yeah, um, now onto the final and I think most important topic, and that is... Um, creating the artwork that you like to make. Now, you're probably thinking, Tim, are you stupid? <laughs> Making your own artwork that you like? Of course I'm going to do that. Why else would I do this in the first place? And yes, for, for some people, it, it is super obvious. They probably did it from the very beginning up until when they're professionals. Um, and... It, it is super obvious for them, but I think for a lot of us, it's it's not... It, it's like this perceived idea based on what other people suggested that we have to do a certain thing in order, in order to succeed. Um, like, for example, um, when I was... Again, using myself as an example. <laughs> uh, I, I actually mentioned this earlier in my last video, but I used to think, I, okay, I... I gotta draw realistic work. I gotta draw sci-fi stuff. I have to draw um, traditional fantasy artwork. Um, and the thing is, like, I did draw that stuff. And it's not like... Okay, so sci-fi I don't like drawing, but, like, fantasy stuff is still the subject matter I draw now. Um, but the problem is, is that I was doing what is labelled the proper fantasy artwork. I was doing what... I thought was the proper way to do this work because I was afraid that people would look at my idea and go like, dude, you're doing it wrong. You're doing fantasy wrong. Get out of here. <laughs> like, I, I was really scared of self-expressing myself and, and uh, you know, so that the work came out quite mediocre or people just didn't really reflect on it. Um, and here's the thing, like when I did start doing the uh, my own artwork that is personable to me, it wasn't like the moment I started doing my first piece, it just clicked instantly. I was like, boom, yeah, I, I, I all of a sudden know exactly this magical formula how to make the best piece of artwork. It was <laughs> a very gradual process um, because, you know, I've gotten so used to thinking a certain way, I had to you know, just put snippets of myself on each piece and, you know, slowly insert it with each piece of artwork I make. And even now, it's not 100% there, but it's definitely gone a lot better than it was before. And so that's what I mean by, like, making artwork that you enjoy. It, it's like basically set, giving yourself permission to say, hey, this is the kind of stuff I like drawing and painting. I'm going to draw it, finish it, and show it to the world. And uh, for some people, it can be pretty hard. So um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, guys. Honestly, just 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 do what you do, what you love for your for your personal work, definitely. Because um, if people hire you, they will hire you based off your portfolio. And if you put work that you love on there that you really like, there's a higher chance they'll hire you to paint something similar or to draw something similar. Whereas, uh, yeah, you know, if you, you paint those guns, uh, like me, <laughs> uh, I don't even like painting. Oh, look, okay, you go, oh, you like painting guns. Ah, oh, I got some guns for you, lad. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Right. Okay, so, yeah, that those are the um, three topics, uh, you know, that I, I really wanted to talk about. I, I kind of addressed each of them pretty quickly because I didn't want to waffle on too long. You know, I, I truly believe that these three things are things you can actively do to to make art less hard because, you know, it, it, it's already difficult enough to do this and anything we can do to the sort of reduce the anxiety and the frustration, then, you know, I think it will help out a lot. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty much done with this video and you know, if you guys have 
you know, anything to say in the comments, you know, or even write about like your own personal experience, please feel free to write it down because, um, you know, I, like I say, I want to create this channel where we can all share these thoughts and ideas and not feel alone, you know, feel like, every, you know, feel like, understand that other people are also in a similar boat. And so now we're in a sort of area where it's, it's okay to talk about it. I, I give you permission. <laughs> All right, I've I've spoken long long enough. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.